The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling, growling us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 53. NASDAQ down one. S&P's off one. Gold contract down $3.10, trading at 1347 an ounce. We have silver off four cents, fourteen dollars ninety-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down thirty-nine cents, fifty-three dollars fifty-one cents a barrel. Now we'll get uh, the EIA uh, today. That's right, half uh, hour from right now. Yeah, and um, you know, oil uh, caught a little bid yesterday. Didn't it have, sure did. Didn't have the juice behind it, the volume, but uh, caught the bid. Notes and bonds, ten-year note down nine ticks, one twenty-seven oh six. Thirty-year bond off nineteen at one fifty-four thirteen. Now certainly, notes and bonds, folks, they get over their highs and they had volume. Okay, so coming up to this two o'clock uh, statement with the two thirty news conference, volatility in spades. King dollar, King dollar down one hundred twenty-eight ticks, trading ninety-seven oh two. The euro is trading at a price point of one twelve to one U.S. dollar. The yen is at one eight and a half, and the pound is at one twenty-six. And a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, as you do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, Kevin's got an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand option, option strategies, futures, all of the above. Great program. If you haven't test driven yet the Think or Swim platform, real easy to do. Right on our website, just hit that banner, bring it up. Bottom line, there's a filter inside that. It's going to just tell you which way that the interest rates are going to go. I better pull it up right now, then. <laughs> joking, joking. Uh, yeah, before that. Kevin Hicks, what's <laughs> going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, that's right. We don't have the answers to the test yet. But uh, no, we're, we don't. We're, we're certainly going to talk about it a lot today. That's <laughs> oh, for sure. boy. It's going to be a study session, man. It's, you know, and, you know, I, yesterday, folks, you know, that Mario Draghi, I mean, he sent uh the markets right across the world higher so yeah he did you know the real question is going to be uh does he do it again today does he come up with something else today and uh, or is it going to be powell right you know yeah i mean by the end of today guys we're going to be breaking down wait was that a semicolon or a colon he used in that sentence i mean they're going to be never in jerome powell's life has he going to get each word dissected oh my and God. the inflation on his voice dissected by the media on what he means i still don't think he's going to raise rates frankly but i think he'll guide towards a summer or an early fall we'll see in his words if he's guiding towards july or september and uh yeah, yeah i don't that that one i don't know but i don't think he'll raise today it's still a very low probability bet yeah. right right now you mean cut rates right I, you know, I say that. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was saying that I, yesterday. Can't get it out of my I head, believe Kevin. me. I know. I, it's. I've, I've been saying it for nine straight quarters, and now I can't. Yeah, I do it every day. The market's almost at all-time highs. You know, we're cutting, yeah. baby. We're cutting all time. I, th th that, <laughs> th th folks, the divergence here is huge. Uh, just what Tommy said. We're all at all-time highs. I don't think I've ever seen a rate cut at all-time highs. Especially at right. cutting from. Never in my career have have I seen a. You know, healthy market, a healthy economy where they cut rates to get inflation higher, right? Because, frankly, we've never had a health economy, economy with no inflation, with very low inflation. So this is a first, that's for sure. So, therefore, there's a little bit of uncertainty, right? There's, we're in uncharted oh, yeah. territory yeah. here, for sure. Well, you know— it yeah, I mean, he had yesterday, so so picture yesterday, folks, when Draghi came out, the bottom line, of course, he, he sent bonds to the moon. And it was the first time that France ever went to a zero on the 10-year. So this is a worldwide phenomenon. This is like, right. you know, there's, there's something that's underlying here. I mean, if, if there's that much cash around the world and we really are in a deflationary world, well, it's like, okay, then, you know, that means that assets are worth money. That cash is not worth anything, man. You better get rid of it because it's costing you money. It's like right. there's, there's, there's so many twists and turns like that, there are. you know, We'll see and with, when it comes out, but I, I you know, it's, it's a hot Yeah, time. and guys, and with 21 of 30 Dow stocks with a, a dividend yield higher than, than, than the 10-year, 
Yes. This is where it gets kind of interesting. That's why you've seen the divergence in the uh, rates and stocks in the last few weeks because with, with yields this low, it makes some of these stocks look attractive. Look at Boeing yesterday. Yeah. You know, it didn't take much good news <laughs> on the uh, 737 MAX for Boeing to, to, to jump higher. Yeah, that was agree. a big move there. It's remarkable. It, it's you know, it, it, there's no doubt. And what happened there, folks, is that British Airways uh, audited 200 737 maxes. I mean, right. and okay. that, that is a, that's, it's a big number, you know. And let's uh, think about it a little more, Tom. If stocks are forward-looking, right, and we're now six months away from the end of the year when Boeing and a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the government thinks that these planes are going to be back in the air. You know, the earliest is August, but the very latest is the end of the year. So that's what I think people are starting to plan for. And that's why I think you saw the stock, you know, two big days in Boeing, with the biggest being yesterday. I think people are starting to plan for this crisis like, like you would expect to eventually dissipate. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. I mean, because there's 4,000 planes right now on order. I mean, they, they, those numbers are hard to even comprehend when you start right. thinking about it. You yeah, know what I mean? Totally. The, the real question is going to be is that what are they, who's going to be the first ones on it? And right. <laughs> we know, I, we, we suspect that this time, I mean, Boeing came out to think that it's going to be their own employees. And so, think about this, Tom. What happens if they come out and say, this plane's not only airworthy, it's better now, right? I mean, we, we, we've made improvements to it that make it safer. I so expect that that's what they're going to say. More. <laughs> why not, right? You wouldn't say I'm just as good as everybody yeah, else, right? right? I mean, why right. not? Right. But that's it. So, so I mean, that, but yeah. I mean, Airbus is probably taking advantage of this, but I think this is going to be long term one of the more popular planes ever sold. So they, they've got a little glitch, and it sounds like they're working on it. It sounds like they're a week away from doing some test flights, and you, you know. The answer is in the stock, right? That's where the, all the information winds up, and and this stock has jumped the last two days. I would have loved to be in the negotiation for that order because yes. you had to know if you're British Airways that you're not throwing them a bone, right? But saying, listen, if right. you want us to order 200 of these 737 Maxes, why don't you cut that price down a little bit? Uh, or, 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 Tommy, something like this. This headline that we're giving you today that should put me at the front of the queue. Exactly. Maybe right. somebody, you know, you got to get sure. some pound of flesh for yes. that. Yes. Yes. That was. That was. I think uh, so. Oh, for sure. No, I right? I'd agree. Because I'm startled that they actually bought 200 of those planes with everything going on. So yeah. they knew there'd be a, a headline for and, sure. And you know what? There could be a side. So picture. You know, England and us. We're the closest allies anyway, right? So it, right. You can see how you can get a deal done. There might be something off to the side. There's certainly a negotiation like you're talking about. Like, we'll find out what the real price is. Sure. But you know what? None of it matters because trust wise, it's like, okay, they're buying 200 well, planes. They, they must think, right. just like you're saying, yeah. Kevin, it's going to be a big and remember, plane. They, they may be giving, Boeing may be giving these companies more information than, than they're releasing publicly yeah. on the yeah. safety of these planes or the, or the status. I hope of these so for planes. British Airways because <laughs> yeah. that's quite an investment on a plane. But it's not, not bad news, right? Flight. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Folks. Right here, 45 minutes now. It's going to be an outstanding program, of course. Big day. Oh, big day. Big day in the marketplace. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the program. Buckle up today, guys. Have a good one. Lock you too, man. Hold on for That's the ride. That's right. Oh, boy. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We have the Dow 49, NASDAQ flat. Just a piece off one. Come right. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the Taz Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the Taz Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the Taz Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is up 37. You get the Nasdaq down eight. S&Ps are down uh, three and a half. Uh, gold. Let's go take a look at that gold contract. So yeah, we're, we're gonna... getting a little bit of a pop, man. Oh yeah. We've got intraday highs. Um, uh, we get the chart up on the other screen as well. 13.49. Yep. And uh, there's going to be some heavy movement out here. I guess here. we're higher pre-market, maybe. But that's yeah, that's the high. In the last five six hours yeah and we did volume yesterday you know so uh bottom line is that we're pushing highs at volume so i expect you know when this thing comes out we're going to go higher we're um, going to get volume no matter what right That's yes <laughs> exactly no matter what way it moves we're going to get some volume exactly with the fed coming out right it's always interesting that you know they have the algorithms right looking through the statement and so oh forth. yeah so uh it's hard to understand how those algorithms work, right? right. I mean, you have people that right. are geniuses, team of geniuses, oh, yeah. paid millions and millions of dollars right. by J.P. Morgan. And so it's like, but I know one of the ways they're going to work today, and they're going to look for that one word, patience. That's all. Yeah. You, could, you could program your own algorithm yeah. to instantly look on that exact statement of where that word, patience, was. Is it there? Right. Is it not there? Right. That's going to be the first uh, right. Right. thing that everyone's looking for. No doubt. Yeah. Now, you know, we... If you, we look, we were talking about this yesterday morning. Now, what happened, folks, and this is going to be really cool watching how this shakes out. We did have the S&P as well as the NDX 100 take out a B point, take it out with volume. So you get a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Now, that confirmed ABC structure is saying on, in both cases, it's going to take it over the highs of April. So the real question is going to be here, do we get, you know, what this is projecting Okay, because it's a big number, man. I mean, your, a, your B point on this is uh, 291.40. Your A is uh, 273. Uh, so what, 16 bucks, right? Eight, 18 bucks. Uh, 18 bucks. We'll get you up until, uh, what, 303 or something? 305. Three, okay, so that's, and then the high on that is 294. Sure. Yeah. Now we get over to the queues, and it's the same setup. It's like, okay, sure. man, you know, uh, it is what it is. And, you know, we'll see. You know, bottom line is that the B on this one is uh, 185.40, and your A is 169. You know, so it's a, it's a big one. It's, yep. uh, what, 70? That's, oh my God, hold it. 17, 16 bucks, what'd you say, 185? 185. Yeah, uh, so it's $16. Yeah, so, and then your C is uh, 181.94. So call it 182, 182 plus 16, 198. And 191 is the high. Yeah. So you're talking about a monster number. Sure. And 
what that would be saying, I would suspect, is that we're going to, like, get a shock that this is going to actually be more dovish than we even expected, you know? So, and now, now that's the, the one side of it. The other side of it would be, do you go up and test these highs and you get a blow-off high, you know? Okay, yeah. And it's... We're going to know soon. We are, man. That's we're going to know, know soon. In three hours and 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oil. We're going to know oil in, a in nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine okay. minutes. So 1021 right now. We get inventory numbers for crude EIA 1030 every Wednesday. We got the crew contract up here. We're looking at the August contract. Um, quite a little pullback right at 9 o'clock. Not sure what happened, but 9 o'clock we saw um, we're trading at 54.14. Trade down about 50, 60 cents, 53.50. We're sitting down there. You can see where we were, though, man. You say, you know, we talked about it quite a run yesterday, right? Yep. From 6 a.m., you're trading at 51.87, and we made it up to... 54 58 almost three dollars man to the upside so oil's had some volatility for a while uh let's jump in and see where we're at on some of these options so we get into commodities we'll go into crude and let's see where the 11 a.m's line up so the contract's trading 53.66 the quick bummer right away is i know these are going to line up on the quarter as in 50 cents 75 so we're not going to have uh, a price that's going to peg things even ideally uh, 53.66, so 53.50 we could use for our 11 a.m.s would have a 17 cent head start to the upside. Okay. Right, it's a little bit of a bearish, uh, excuse me, bullish trade. The bullish trade, the one with all the intrinsic value, which is 16 to 17 cents of that, uh, and 29 dollars it's going to cost you on the bullish one alone, and then on the bearish one it's going to be much cheaper because you're about 17 ticks out of the money. So they're looking at 13. You're looking at 42 bucks for the 11. A little bit more expensive than usual, yeah. but it's because you're you're so almost much 20, you're too. almost 20 cents away from, you know, your price exposure on the bullish and the bearish. Now let's just see if we can find one maybe with 53.75 because we'd be about six ticks away as opposed. Noon. Whoops, I'm clicking on the gold. We'll close that. The noon for crude. 53.50. Going to be an identical trade. Let's just jump to the dailies with one extra hour, of course. Okay, and we could have 54 if we wanted. That'd be a little bit different. If you wanted a little bit of bearish intrinsic value, you'd have about 30 cents there. And the same on the daily. So let's just set up the noons if, uh, to compare it to these 11s. 53.50, there's our 11 a.m. There's our noon. Now what's interesting here is, you know, let's just say you were looking for the trend to continue that we had yesterday in terms of that huge bullish run, right? Yeah. Not a bad trade when you look at just this bullish side now. You're getting into 53.82. Your loss is stopped at 53.50. For this risk reward, which is basically risking one to make four, risking 30 to make 120, yes. right? It's $150 in the total pie. You're risking 30 to make 120. And for that type of risk reward, you're paying 10 cents over market. Not right? bad. No, not bad no. at all. Not, right. not when you have oil coming in six minutes. Right. Now, you're paying that for the 11s. And if you want to look, what are they going to charge you? They're going to charge you... Uh, 18 cents above market, where now instead of risking 30 to make 20, you're risking 40 to make 110, you're risking 1 to make a little bit less than 3. Right. right? You're risking right. 1 to make 2.8. Right. Um, can we, I don't mean to just, no, go ahead. Can we we going? I want to put a whisper number. In. Okay, perfect. So I want to put a bill. Oh, of, no. Uh, put a bill of like 250,000 uh, barrels, even though we, they're looking for a, a drawdown. All right, we got 50 and saying 250? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. We're in there. And how about gas? Gas is gas looking a for build a, a million. rise. Yeah. With four seconds left, we get Perfect. our bid in. Good. Okay. And let's pull these over as we just to show what. Uh... So there's the gas build, the whispered number. They're looking for a build of somewhere between 800,000 and a million barrels for gas. Crude on the flip side, um, that's the one looking for. Oh, okay, did that? I forget what. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull that up. I think that was a decline. What did you say? That was a decline. Yeah, I... now the survey number and the whisper number differ. Okay. That's right. And okay. They, they take the survey number off, uh, I think, right as. Oh, no. I... no sorry. There's, there it is. Crude. Yeah. That's, I was clicking on the right. Cushing. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're looking for a decline of between 800,000 and 1.2, depending right. on. And last night, the uh, API was a uh, drawer of 642, I think. Okay, 642,000 barrels. Yeah. And let's just see what, uh, they do some good commentary analysis ahead of this, um, the what to watch for. I like it. All right. These crude builds are unrelenting. We've seen a pretty, pretty steady rise in crude inventory since March, surpassing the five-year average. No slowdown in sight. So we'll see if that rise continues. 
Gulf Coast refinery runs are still being held back by outages, mostly planned. Seasonally, rates are currently at the lowest levels in recent years, but still above the five-year average. Those refineries, man, they're a big story as we yeah, watch these are. every week. Yeah. Um, our refiners coming fashionably late to their own party. And uh, so Pad 5, West Coast Stockpiles, San Francisco, Carbob has reached positive to level differentials. Man, this, this stuff gets a little technical. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, gasoline demand almost reached the 10 million barrels per day mark in the week ending June 7th, falling 123,000 short. So talking about demand there. All right, we'll see, they got a lot there. We'll find out in three minutes. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 36. NASDAQ is down seven. S&Ps are off three and a half. Tommy and I are coming right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We get a monster out here. Gas prices going up at the Holy bump, Holy cow. Crude oil inventories falling 3-plus million barrels, 3.11. Gas inventories falling 1.69 million barrels, checking over to the chart. And there's your pop, man. We, we didn't even take a peek. You know it's going up when the when the when it's that far off from consensus. Shouldn't say no, better or something. And we just got a 50, uh, 60 cent spike in the span of a heartbeat. And we're going higher, man. So what is the high that we had? Basically, you're looking at about 54, 57. We're going to be there in about three seconds, man. 
um, quite a pop on that number that we just had. And I mean, the the cool thing here is that these trades that we were taking a look at, they had that bullish head start, right. and that's why you know it's nice that. And you know, right now the 11 man, you could close that out for uh, and get 80 bucks off the top, and you were putting up 30 bucks, right? right. So right. you the fifty fifty dollar profit. You're yeah. talking about 160 percent profit. And you closed out in a split second, um, just if you were going the bullish side alone. Um, not bad. And it, like we said, not stopping, man. That is quite a run. Let's see if they break down. They still don't have the full breakdown. We'll check back. But man, oil is going to rock and roll. Let's see that if that did anything to the market in general. So you got. Uh, you know, let me pull up. No, it hasn't hit the S&P. That screen's a little funky. There we go. We'll pull up uh, the XLE. Let's see if that moved. I guess that might move a little. Yeah, it should. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, you could, yep, 27 cents. And you had some juice yesterday, yeah. So we did 17 million, took out the swing here of nine. Yeah, this thing wants to go up to his gap. So the, closing the gap is what, 63.31. You're at 62.63. Take a look at Exxon. Nope, you had it first. Yep. Yep. Yeah, up six cents. That's it's still weak. It's pretty amazing. Chevron, Chevron's strong. Chevron's definitely stronger. Yeah, one twenty-three forty-two. Well, there we go, man. Not stopping. Pretty remarkable. So this five-minute bar we're looking at, 53.67, 80-cent bar right now, and climbing. And uh, like I said, we're now about 10 pennies away from that high, and that's a decent high that we put in yesterday. Well, it we better be able to right hit that it. high. So that'd be interesting here. Let's let's go take a look at that because when you get a build that that's big, you know. Now well, oh, yeah, this is delayed. Oh, yeah. yeah. So let's see. Yesterday was 54.31. We're definitely over that, right? I think I believe. So the spike high is 54.84. I just want to make sure we're looking at the same contract. We're not. Yeah, see, we're looking at August here, okay. and we got the June up here. Okay, That's just so. C L. U. No, that's September. Let's just try. Maybe if you just go active, it might get. Yeah, the active is still the end, I think. Yeah. See well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We can pull it up. Yeah. C L. I don't know what August is. Uh, well, September is not going to help. <laughs> That's all right. 5381. I just wanted to pull up. I think they will probably have that full breakdown of everything going on. Oh, where's that? There it is. Okay, so we have the crude decline of 3.1 million barrels. Gasoline, quite a miss as well, a decline of 1.6. The estimate had been a rise of a million. Distillates, decline of 500, rise of 800 was the expectation. Uh, check out the Pad 3 crude, man. Wow. Minus 5.8. I think it might have been last week where the, the entire value of everything was kind of a Pad 3 builder or draw, I forget. Um, refinery utilization, up 0.7. The estimate was 0.3, so maybe coming back online a little more than uh, they'd expected. And then they have crude inputs up 200,000 barrels a day. Crude imports down for 144,000 barrels a day, and production down 100,000 as well. Boy, these they're monster numbers when you start talking about in a day, right? You're up 100,000 yeah. a day, you're down 100,000 a day. When you think about the amount of cars on the road, man, you know, as in you drive to work, every single car is oh, yeah. plowing through gas. Right. And it's just staggering right. the amount of oil we use. Oh, it, it is. It, it, it is. You know, I remember when they were putting like a 7 Eleven on every single corner, and then, you know, it turns from gas stations to, you know, stations you could buy everything at yeah and that that just hasn't stopped nope you know no, i mean no. that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger i mean tesla's tesla's doing their best to stop it but not not yet and as you said so we made it to 5450 but that high was 5457 5456 let's see where it is 5458 it looks like was yeah. the actual high so we'll we'll see this might not be done climbing higher though exactly, exactly. <laughs> little, little yeah. two minute breather before it makes its next leg up yeah there's that's these moving parts out here um dollar wise uh, this dollar what's going to be interesting here folks is that uh when we come out when the fed comes out you know with their statement the real question is the dollar pushed higher again yesterday it had volume behind the move and it's like okay man you, you want to go hit that high you know, you get the shot to do it. So we'll see how that, you know, the, yesterday we did 23,000 contracts. 
You know, you had the monster day last week, 35,000. It's like a, that spike high just laying there, you know. So, and when I had uh, Rob McEwen on yesterday, uh, yeah, he was talking about that the... I was asking him specifically because, you know, I remember so well, all, well, all of us, not just Rob McEwen, that it was like gold's going high because the dollar's going low because of our deficits. Well, what had happened is that that didn't happen, number one. But what has happened, like he was saying, he's saying that gold is higher in 68 currencies. Okay. You know, around the world. Cool. Except the dollar. Okay. Except the dollar. So that's kind of intriguing just in general. You sure. Know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. If you didn't check out the uh, interview yesterday, right on the YouTube page or right in the archives at TFNN, but head on over to our YouTube page. That interview up there, a nice nine-minute interview you guys did. Uh, and as we say it, man, speaking of our page, I know you and Steve Dahl tonight, right? Yes. Taz Profile Scanner, man. 5 to man. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. So Steve and yourself, you're going to be in there at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern, right following your program for an hour. I encourage everyone, man, go over there. We're about to come into a break in about a minute and a half. You get three minutes. You'll be signed up for the scanner. You'll have that email. You'll be up and running, and you'll uh, you'll be charging forward and ready for this webinar tonight. Um, and I'm excited for it, man. Steve's going to do a great job just walking through how he used that scanner, how totally. he scanned the market, the power that it has. You can subscribe to that. Ninety-seven dollars a month, folks. You got a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're unsatisfied, let us know. We'll refund that. And uh, come on over, check it out, man. Steve Dahl saying hello to everyone over there. He's excited for that webinar. There he is, man. Perfect. <laughs> He's great, man. Yeah, totally. Totally. The, uh, so let's go over and take a look at the, a, f a few of the big dogs. Amazon right now, right next to its high, down 267. That high there is 1964. That can be like in about a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. The uh, Google different Did it ball game. Oh, okay, it got to 2000 before, right? Did it get to 2000? No? Is that the all time high? Mm -hmm. For some reason, I had it in my head. I might be thinking of Apple with 200. Yeah, I guess. No. No, yeah, it did. Oh, Back yeah. there. That's there what is. I thought. 2050. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. I knew Amazon had 2000 in it at some point. September. No. <laughs> that's a year ago. Wow. Man, yeah, that's pretty intense. So this is interesting that, you know... Nine months, to be fair. Don't fast forward. Yeah. I know you like, you know, we got three more months for a full yeah. year there. So you got 20 million up there. Pretty close to those highs. I mean, it could, Amazon could be up there in a, in a heartbeat. I mean, you're only talking about like 7% from those highs, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now at 38. NASDAQ is down 8. S&P's off 3.5. Gold down 3 bucks. Silver off 5 cents. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up to 29. Nasdaq's down 11. S&Ps are down 5.5. Let's go to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at forex-trading-unlocked.com. That's forex-trading-unlocked.com. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Hey, it's an FOMC day today. That's what's going on. I'm telling you, you are only on in the best days, man. <laughs> yeah, right? It's so true. I mean, it's like, you know, it just seems that on these Wednesdays, that's when, you know, I mean, we're looking for movement in currencies. Uh, and and right. there's no doubt that dollar is hanging up there, right? Yeah, and as the market turns, right, I think everyone's got to look at the dollar index right now. Yes, yes. So, so what do you think? Well, here's what I think. I think that uh, until the Fed meeting is done today at 115, I think it's going to be kind of a quiet trade. At least that's what I think. But you know what's kind of crazy is the major currency crosses, they're not paying attention to that. They must be oblivious to a Fed meeting. Really? So um, the dollar index pressed higher again today, and it's come off its highs. And uh, your majors, like the pound dollar, that set a low yesterday. It's okay. very strong this morning going into, like, once our markets opened up. And that's a rarity. Usually when you get a currency move like this, it starts before our markets open. They were actually kind of quiet until we started opening up around here. I see. So I think that um, we're going to see possibly a turn in the dollar right now, a short-term sell-off, because everything's factored in. I mean, honestly, unless um, the FOMC meeting today, they come out and actually cut rates, which uh, today is not the day they're going to do it. That would be a shocker. You know, that would obviously shake up the markets. Um, yeah. And I don't think they're going to change their tone either, guys. I think you guys know that right now we're pricing in at least a quarter point before the end of the year. I think it's like somewhere between 65 and 85 percent, depending on who's rating it. Um, and even a two cuts before the end of the year. Uh, I know. Yeah. It's almost a 50-50. So, in my opinion, I don't know about you guys. I think that either they're aware of some things that we're not aware of. It seems almost preemptive. I don't know why they want to cut rates even remotely. I think they should save their bullets. Um, and then you had the ECB also that came out where we know that, um, we've talked about this before, how they're gonna be um, remaining neutral for the next year. But they came out with some stuff this week that they're gonna actually probably bring back some quantitative easing kind of stuff. So synthetically, they are going to start to cut rates over in the, in the Eurozone. Yes. So these are things I think people need to pay attention to after today. Um, but I think there's going to be a short-term turn. I think that the, the high is in in the dollar index for the day and maybe the next few sessions. And you're probably going to see the pound dollar, if, as long as the dollar index doesn't rally, if it breaks, you're going to probably see follow-through in the pound dollar to the upside. The Euro US dollar will probably um, go to the upside. Um, and then you have the U.S. dollar Swiss, which is already the leader. That's they're banging their lows right now. They're actually off right now. I was looking at the chart before we came on, and then they were lower earlier. And I was looking at, oh my gosh, these guys are hammering it already. You know. So, yeah. So you know, and what's so intriguing here, Teddy, is that you know when Draghi came out yesterday, I mean, he moved the markets right across the world, and what well, you know, the equity markets for sure. Um, well, he moved the he moved the pound and the dollar. Sure. I mean. Uh, you know, the euro also, right? I mean, so this is Except intriguing. Except the yen. The, yeah, the yen is just laying there, huh? 
dude, that chart, I'm telling you, like, I, I was I was looking at it and talking to some people this morning. They asked me about the yen, and I'm like, all I know is if you've been trading the yen for the past two weeks, whether you're long or short, you had to have gotten chewed up. I, I can't yes. see how because right. it's still what, he, what Teddy's saying, folks, is still laying at the exact same number. And what's intriguing about that yen, you know, when you take a look at it, is that what you're going to see in the yen, folks, is that this is a spike low. And I remember that day. That's a real. That's a real trade. Um, that was that was a vicious little deal that happened. Uh, what's that? The January third. Yes. Yeah. January third. That thing spiked down to 104.87. And then closed right. at 107. I mean, that was like a insane wipeout somewhere, you know. Right. Yeah. It was kind of reminiscent of when the pound debacle back 20 years ago. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was 10 years ago. 20. 20 years ago. I said yeah. 20. 20 years ago. Oh, I think so. I think that was late 90s. Yeah. Oh my God. You remember when Soros made a billion and a half dollars? Yeah, I, I remember it. That's what's sad. It's so sad. <laughs> you didn't even believe it was 10 years ago. I was surprised it was 20. I know. Time <laughs> flies, <laughs> oh, right? Oh, no. I'm telling you, man. So, but, yeah, I think that uh, your listeners who trade the currency markets, or uh, they should really watch that dollar index. Um, now, if they today's trade, you guys know how it is with FOMC. We can see all kinds of head fakes going around. Yes. So, after today, tomorrow, I would w check the dollar index and see what it's doing. If it's making newer highs, well, then that dollar bull is here, and it's definitely not going anywhere. Going, It's probably going to trend into the G20 meeting. Okay. And that would also mean that the, the markets that we talked about now, like the pound dollar and the euro um, versus the dollar, they're in rally mode right now. They would collapse and make newer move lows for okay. sure. Index Boy, it's going to be a lot of moves, huh? Yeah, big And day. this is, I mean, you know, the, the real question is going to be going forward, too. Are we going to actually get in a currency war, right? You know, because, yeah. Oh, you know, I think we're already in one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I think the news is a little bit lagging that issue, and they've been kind of like, I mean, economic warfare goes on no matter what, all every year in and out, no matter what the situations are. Right. You know? I mean, usually it's waged by central banks, and right now we have a, a time where central banks are actually being neutral. They're off the table. This is all done between the leadership of different countries because of the tariff wars. And then we even have the whole Brexit EU thing, you know? So it started with that. That's been lingering, and now it's escalated with the U.S. and China. Yeah. Man, it's a lot of moving parts. This is going to be wild yes. watching this. You know, it's wild. I mean, I, I remember, you know, there's always days that you're, you're saying, okay, which way is this going to go? But it seems like this one is a larger one because of the context that if we do have a turn that to say, okay, you know, we've been going up, uh, as Kevin Hinks said, uh, four, nine, nine times. So what's that? We've been going up for like three years maybe, right? And uh, right. if they're going to really say that, okay, we're going down, then it's like, okay, now what's going to be the game book there, sure. you know? And I guess the one nice thing, though, is there's a good harmonic play going on with the dollar index because is the it? euro and the pound, which are the two biggest components, seem to be trading, you know, in tandem with the moves. They're, you know, obviously against the trend. So when the okay. dollar is failing, they're breaking, and conversely, you know. So I think for those traders that are out there trading the euro and the pound, especially, you can key off the dollar index. Um, your broader base currencies, to some degree, I think yes, you're like your uh, New Zealand dollar and Aussie dollar and Canada for sure. Um, the Japanese yen, though, all I can tell you is if the dollar in, if the dollar gets a rally, okay, yeah, uh, in the index, I think that you might raise the range of the Japanese U.S. dollar yen trade a bit, you okay. know. Okay. Um, but even if there's an extended rally, I don't see that that the yen is going to follow that trend. Interesting. You know, I think that's the one that's kind of landlocked towards range trading bias. So, um, I mean, I trade the yen dollar trade every once in a while. Um, right now, I'll tell you what, with the way it looks, I'm not going to look at this thing for a very long time until it actually sets a trend and gives me a reason to either Well, it's fade. so intriguing what you're saying because, like, gold is still high. And what I've seen is that every time that the yen gets strong at all, gold stays up. And maybe the yen's keeping gold up because it's like, normally when the yeah. dollar is this high, gold should be smoked, man. And it, it, it's right. refusing to back off, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's an arm somewhere there coming up. Right? Yeah, there's no doubt. Listen, folks, every trading day, you can check them out at trading forex forex trading unlockcom Teddy, have a great Thanks, one. Guys. Safe one. Look forward to seeing you next week.
Thanks, Teddy. For the White Sox, we got the Crosstown Classic I'm certain today. you oh, are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we Tigers and Tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 48. NASDAQ down 6. S&P's up 4. Market's uh, just laying there, man. It sure is. Speaking of just laying there, checking back on oil, just kind of laying up there, right to where we shot up in that first five-minute bar, hanging at 53, excuse me, 54, 37. Um, and again, we shot up from about 53, 67. So you're talking about 70 cents. Um, yeah. It shot up. And I don't think it's made it to that spike high from last week, not. huh? It has not. Well, I even, it hasn't made it from the spike high just as in uh, last night, even, oh. from what we were, uh, that's the one we kept looking at. Um, 54.58 as of about 8 p.m. last night it got up to and that's after that huge run yesterday so it uh it was within about eight pennies but not quite yet and we'll see what happens that day goes uh we go over to adobe adobe came out with numbers last night yeah so, good numbers right yeah they get they had the numbers it's, this is going right into its high trying yeah. to hit that uh what is that i think 291.70 right Yes, 291.70. Yeah, so that's 5.9 million shares. We hit okay. 289.43, and you get 3.5. So we'll probably get the shares today, right? You're, Especially you're pushing as into it. The market's yeah. going to accelerate later. Right. The whole market could get some volume as, no, no as doubt. the Fed comes up. And when you'll see this, you can see yesterday too that it was pushing. It went low, but that actually went to a higher high, and it had volume behind the move. 4.25 million. Uh, it's coming into yeah, it was coming to 2.9. And a gap higher. We'll see whether it can basically get up and over that level. And 
You know, as we come into uh, that 2 o'clock uh, time frame today. Three hours, man, 180 minutes. We all find out. on for the ride. And then the press conference should be interesting at 2.30 as well. Oh, sure. Yeah. Dave will have a good yeah. program at 2 o'clock, that power trading hour. And you'll be uh, primed up at 3. Plenty totally. to talk about. Totally. And don't forget, tonight, you'll be in there, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. TAS Profile Scanner. Check it out. Stay right there, folks. we get Fast Market coming up next. Then we get our man, uh, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. No. Yeah, Dave White, and I'll be back. Thanks, man. Wow! Thank you. Go get him, folks.